Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be making weapon arrays or multiple weapons. So this is a sort of direct continuation on from our health hours video, which is the one we did last. Um, so I've got the same code here, but I've added in what our final product will be after today. So we have, with our projectile, we have our smaller bullets, which do small amounts of damage. And if we press the B button, we switch to larger bullets, which do more damage. Um, uh, at the end, I'll also show you some sort of examples of fun things you can do with it afterwards. Um, so here's the code we're starting with. I have the exact same code that we had for our um, health bars code. Uh, I've just minimized this, but this is all the same. Um, and the only blocks we'll have to change are this on A button pressed one and the projectile sort of overlap one. Um, so our first step is to actually make an array, which is down here under advanced in arrays. And we'll grab the set list to array of. And this is where we'll design our um, what our projectiles will look like. So if we go into images and grab out just one of these blank images, we can drag that into the first slot and design our first projectile. So I'm just going to do this sort of a little simple. Um, little line just like the one that one just so we can see it so i want that to be my small projectile and then i want this one here to be my big projectile so i'm just going to drag that in there um you can do as many weapons as you like i'm only doing two just for the sake of the video but um in the example i've got four so i'll show you some sort of fun ways to play with it um our next step is to make a new variable and we'll call it current weapon. This is just our way to keep track of um, what weapon we're up to in our list. So I'm just going to use set current weapon to zero, which will be this first one. So this will be zero, this will be one, and if we had more, this would be two. So zero, one, two, three. So it starts counting at zero instead of at one like we'll be used to. Um, next, we'll work on this on A button pressed. So we want the image to change based on um, sorry, what weapon we have activated. So I want it to start off using this one on zero and switch to one when I press B. So how do I change this image? Um, if we go into arrays, we can get the value out of the array with this get value at zero. So I put that in the image slot, weapons, get value at, and we'll use current weapon. So on A button pressed, the projectile, the image of the projectile is the value at current weapon. So it'll be zero, which is this one here. So we're just changing that over there. And then if we go into logic and grab this if block out, and we'll grab an equals. And then in variables current weapon. If current weapon equals one. And then we'll go into sprites and get this uh, what is it? set kind. And we'll make a new kind called projectile two. And you will have to do this for every projectile you have. So I've, we do, you can skip the first one, but for every extra one, you have to make one of these blocks. So I've got, so if I have three weapons here, so I have two here, but if I have three, then I'll copy paste this block, change this number to two, and then make a new kind called projectile three. And that's how you'll do it for every, um, every extra weapon you have. But I only have the two, so I'll just do this one, one time. Our next step is to make a way to switch weapons. So when we press the B button, on B button pressed, then we need an if else block, so it is in logic. And we'll just copy paste this. We've got if current weapon equals, and then 
we have this minus block from there. And then in arrays, we want this length of array. The length of array weapons minus one. So if the current weapon is the last weapon in the list, we want to set the current weapon back to zero. If it's not the last one on the list, we just want to change the value by one, so move one up the list. So we'll go from here to here, and then if it's the last one on the list, it'll put it all the way back to the start. Um, now that we've got that working, our final step is just to make it uh, make our bullets do different amounts of damage. So if I copy paste this one for each type. So our projectile, just projectile, is this first one here. And um, maybe I don't want this one to do 20 damage because if we see it here, it does a lot of damage for a small bullet. So I'm going to make this maybe minus five. And then on projectile two, the big bullet, I want it to be minus 20 because it's a much bigger hit. So if we open this up, there's a, when we press A, we shoot a projectile that does a small amount of damage. If we press B, we switch to this larger bullet. Oh, which is not working currently. Why is that? Oh, we're not setting my sprite kind. We're setting projectile kind. Don't forget to change that because that was a big mistake. Now we'll go. There you go. So small and a little bit of damage. If we press B, it does a large amount of damage. So there we are, that's all you need. I'll show you all the code again, just so you can see. So this is our projectiles hitting enemies code. So if the small one hits it, it does five damage. If the big one hits it, it does 20 damage. Here we've got our switching code. So if it's the last one in the list, we'll set it to zero. Else it will change it by one. And then on A button pressed, you shoot your projectile, and it changes the type of the projectile depending on what weapon you have. Here's our initial code. So now I'm going to show you some examples um, of sort of fun things you can do with this. Um, if it lives. Here we are, so these are some examples I made. So I've got four projectiles. So these are my little ones, which just kill them like normal, just normal projectiles. But I thought, what if we had a laser? <laughs> so this is sort of another example of things you can do with projectiles. Um, then we have our boss here, which takes small amounts of damage, but then we can switch to rockets, which do big amounts of damage. And then we have our rocks, that we can't shoot, but if we use bombs, we can blow up the rocks so we can pass through. So there's some just examples for you to think about, um, different things you can try with your code. So, yeah, have fun with that. See what you can come up with, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.